Jace Tunnel here. Man, I got something cool to talk to you about today. Stuff that's been washing up. People have been calling us saying, oh, we got some kind of egg casings or something like that. Um, or they're a some type of jelly. Well, they're partly right. These are a jelly. These are clinging jellyfish. They look like little gelatinous transparent blobs all along the high tide line. And they're washing in by the thousands. And so I'm gonna tell you a little bit about them. And, and actually the scientific name is Neopsis bachii. But that's why we call them clinging jellyfish. They're easier to talk about that way. Now I'm gonna actually take these and I brought a little glass uh, with me and I always do that in case I find something like this. Uh, it's hard to identify what these are unless you put them in the water. And so let's put these in the water so that we can correctly identify them. And I can tell you the difference between some of the other things that look very similar to this, that sometimes we have washing up, uh, versus you know what these clinging jellyfish look like. Now, uh, since I've been going along and picking these up, uh, the, because the best way to be able to figure out what kind they are is actually to be able to put them in water. Because then they open up uh, you can see if they have tentacles, you can see a lot of their structures that you can't see if they're just washed up in the sand and they look like a clear uh, transparent blob, uh, which is what they are, transparent uh, gelatinous blob basically. But if, when you put these in, you start seeing all the detail to them and that makes them really interesting and where you can identify what species they are. So when I first pick them up, I have this uh, glass jar here. I will put them in there and they basically uh, disappear because they're transparent so you can't see them. Okay, I got them now in the jar and uh, you can see how they're pulsating around which is how they move within the water column. Now these things are found um, throughout the Gulf of Mexico and in cooler waters. And so right about now, you know, waters are warming up. They basically disappear. Uh, you won't see them again until the waters start cooling down, probably around November. But November through March, uh, this is probably one of the most common jellies that you'll find washed up. And uh, every year we get these washing up. And uh, people call them all different kinds of things. Uh, they call them uh, salps, which, uh, Salps do look very similar whenever they're up on the, the water line, uh, but salps have a digestive dot inside of them. So it's a little black dot. So that's how you can tell the difference uh, if you're not gonna actually put it in water. Um, the other is uh, sea gooseberry. Sea gooseberries, uh, uh, they're tinnophores. So they, they actually have uh, all these little cilia that go around them. These actually, they look like uh, in, in easy terms to be able to see what they look like is like a cabbage head jellyfish. And so you know how it kind of moves like this? Uh, looks very similar to that. They're transparent, gelatinous, and how you can tell the difference between those other jellies and this one is it has a little X inside of it. And that X that's uh, within the bell of it is actually the gonad system. Now another thing that is pretty interesting about these is that whenever you look really close, and I can't even see this when I'm looking at it right now, but whenever I put my phone up to it, which is how I get these close-up shots, you can actually see tentacles on it. So they have four different clusters on the bottom of their bell uh, uh, that have tentacles that come off of it. And that is how they're able to feed on plankton. Now these things can be found in the open ocean, so obviously the Gulf, that's why they're being pushed up, but they can also be found in the bay. The max size of these things is half an inch. So, you know, every year we get people saying, oh, we got all these little bitty, uh, you know, egg casings or something like that. Uh, they're real small, so they must be like eggs. But no, actually they're, they're jellies and, uh, uh, but, but the max size can only be like a half an inch. So these things are hard to spot. They're washing in right now um, by the hundreds of them, I'd say, because in an area, I probably walked a good 50 feet and found about 10 of them. So, you know, 
go that over uh, miles and miles of the Texas coastline and you're gonna find the thousands and thousands of them. So that's it for the clinging jellyfish. Hopefully you learned something new this week and uh, we'll talk to you on the ne next episode of Beachcombing. Bye.